Hello guys, hello everyone, welcome back again to another episode of, of H5P. Um, today we're gonna have a really entry level video in a nutshell explaining how electronic stuff communicate. Um, whether it's wired or wirelessly. So I got a, I got a bunch of uh, posts and comments from people outside IT from other areas, supply chain and secretaries and and you know outsiders that uh, they just want to have a little bit of uh, understanding of how electronic devices in general works or at least how communicate between each other. So you can say how computers communicate, how my my I don't know my iPhone with my Android communicate wirelessly how everything electronic that's why I was typing how electronic stuff communicate because pretty much everything with a electronic board printed and a TCP IP stack in the chipset is uh, capable to get online so um, I don't wanna I'm not gonna get that much into technical details will be really high level peak of the iceberg stuff so the key concept here it's uh, encapsulation and this encapsulation so before getting into electronic stuff as I was uh, addressing here, uh, I'm gonna take an example of humans. So, if you, if I want, if I'm going to explain how humans communicate, I may say there are uh, different ways to communicate. One of them can be by speech, uh, using languages. Another is body language. Another is. Uh, you know, even flirting is kind of like a language. I don't know, like, there are a thousand ways to communicate between humans, right? So, uh, one way can be languages, and then you split this video in, I don't know, English language, Arabic language, Spanish language, Russian language, so on and so forth. So, as you can tell, as you can notice, uh, humans, uh, if they want to communicate, they, they use some standard, right? Some uh, protocol. So how are we going to define protocol? Uh, you can define protocol as a language. Okay, so in electronic stuff and electronic devices, pretty much you're doing the same thing. You're using a protocol or a language process in order to to communicate each other so if I want to explain how my girlfriend communicate with my with the uh, with me uh, to to understand what she wants she can do it in a thousand ways and I will understand it like for instance if she if she wants chocolate she doesn't have to say Jorge I want chocolate I already know her and she will be requesting chocolate in somehow like some like I don't know she can even be like annoying sometime like in the morning I don't know I don't know it's kinda like an, an example right so my point is like I already know how she communicate to me lack of chocolate in the kitchen, right? So I already understand it. Even a thousand uh, men are not capable to understand my girlfriend, or maybe no one, just myself, because I already understand her behavior, her way of using language or body language how 
how she behaves, right? So in electronic stuff is basically the same thing. So let's take some history uh, here. So at the beginning of the electronic stuff, everyone was creating languages, okay, uh, that they called protocols. So imagine I was, uh, let's use some brush. So I was uh, Apple, right? Let's use uh, uh, green. I was Apple. Well, supposed to be red, right? <laughs> Let's change to red. I was, I'm Apple Computers, so I'm using Apple Talk, right? Apple Talk. Imagine this is Apple Talk. So I'm Nobel. I'm Nobel Company. So I create my own language. Which is which was IPX. So at the beginning of the existence of the electronic stuff, some companies was creating their own um, protocols, as I will say, as, as their their own languages. Okay. So whether you use uh, whether you were using in the past Apple or Nobel or uh, Microsoft or whoever you wanted, you needed to have the same language. Okay. So at the big well after twenty thirty years, the winner rises. IP rises. So. IP Internet Protocol was the winner. Okay, so everyone nowadays speak IP. Okay, that's kind of like um, a little bit of background in terms of protocols and languages. Just to be aware that in terms of languages, nowadays all the electronic stuff use the same language, which is IP. Okay, so. In electronic stuff, there is um, two main concept concepts. Um, one of them is encapsulation, and the other is the opposite, which is disencapsulation. So, without getting that much into details, let's take this guy. Imagine this is uh, it's it's huge. Imagine this guy is Bob. Right. So Bob is typing, literally typing, you know, in the keyboard an email like um he's saying hello world. Okay. So he's typing hello world and then I'm gonna use blue in this time in this case so He's sending hello world, which is here. So, okay, before explaining with the being graphic, so what is encapsulation? Encapsulation, it's the capability to put um, extra layers, like an envelope. If you're sending an envelope to China, if you are in the States and then you're sending an envelope to China, you need to cover it up with plastic and, and this. Uh, bubbles and then a, a box and then you you stick a label and so on right so you adding a stuff physical stuff which you sort of you you sort of encapsulate the packet what you're sending to China with several physical things so encapsulation in electronic stuff is pretty much the same thing you encapsulating the real message if you're sending to China or in this case to one device to another device. So for instance if you send hello world email okay so this is the real hello world like 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, space, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 digits. Well, 12 values, right? You don't need to uh, know how it's translated. You need to know that you have 12 values. Uh, I mean, translated in bytes, right? Because everything is bytes uh, in the end of uh, the process. So, how come you translate these words into bytes? That's um, another world, another topic, which I'm not going to explain now. But um, you basically have your email here, which is here, your 12 values. And then, as you can see, the 12 values still um, keep original, like it's a genuine message all the way down as you're saying and you see that the arrows the encapsulation starts from the real data passing down the stack means passing down the layers means passing down steps as I will call them okay so somehow there is the next layer it's called transport you don't need to uh, memorize this you just need to know that there is one step and the next step is transport so we add some stuff for instance if you send some envelope to China you add I don't know the first thing you adding it's um, the box or in this case is the transport header it's the company you, you will use for send the packet to China right and then as you can notice the same information regards of the transport uh, company you will use it will be added transparent like meaning it will be the same value all the time so in the next step it's another extra stuff it's called the network layer so this is kinda like the label you you you, you fill up like the address the destination address like the physical destination address my girlfriend lives in China and it's in 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 Shanghai and then it's in this street blah blah, blah. so you have the message the company you wanna pay to transfer to transport then the address the label and then as you can see it's translated I mean it's originally migrated in the next layer transparently so in then the the third step it's called the frame layer but imagine it's like the physical box where you 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 putting the physical box and then some masking tape you know just to close everything and then send it so to be clear and to close the topic I'm going to show you this uh, animation where this guy using the um, smartphone, or in this case was a Palm PDA from the 90s, remember that was oh, so productive, I, I remember I was using one of them the PDA Palm Trio, was it remember the Trio? Oh guys, long time ago so this is an animation where this guy is sending an email it's doing some encapsulation here so after they after this device this physical device finished the encapsulation of the message he's sending in this case an email all these bytes because it's a bunch of bytes was added step by step it will be transport in somehow it can be by a wired wirelessly I don't care but what I know it's that I already have the whole bytes or bits so I send bits and then I get into the uh, the destination reach into the, with the destination the destination take it and then do the inverse process which is disencapsulated so I disencapsulate till he get the email so let's click play so as you can see 
it's going and then here is translated into bytes and then he receive it okay so what is this this is your company you paying the company uh, another company it's paying in case this is LTE technology and this guy it's at home so this is the router at home this is some antenna metropolitan antenna somewhere installed within the city you are around so as you notice the email was transferred like this I'm gonna use the fast forward play great Okay guys, so Okay guys, so we're back to uh, our whiteboard. So I hope with this image and with the animation was already clear how and expl well explain how everything you send it whether it's an email or a message or a movie or a picture or a file or whatever translates into bytes in somehow then transport through wired or wirelessly and then reach in the other side to the destination so I hope this video was informative for all of you thank you for for watching